Hello, garden friends. It is March 25th, somewhere in there, March 25th. And it's been, uh, huh? 28th, <laughs> March 28th. We're outside, we finally have some sunshine. It's warmed up a little bit. So we came out here to plant our carrots, our first round of carrots and radishes. And we're doing something a little different this year than we've done before, uh, which I'm excited to try. And if you watched my last video, you saw us preparing these beds. Uh, some of them I have left uncovered and some of them we covered with the biodegradable tarps. So these ones that I left uncovered were for direct seeding because it's, you do not want to direct seed in something that you've covered because it just makes it all difficult and the seed can get lost under the tarp. So what you want to do is have your ground prepped and ready, lay the seed down, and then as the uh, sprout grows, then you can cover it with a mulch. So we're going to be laying down carrots and radishes today, possibly spinach, depending on how long it takes us. So the system that we're doing this year, that's a little differently. We're going to be doing um, carrot tape. So I, you may or may not have seen this in the stores where they actually uh, have a strip of tape that has individual carrot seeds on it. So all you have to do is lay down your tape. You don't have to worry about fumbling around with all the tiny seeds and then having to come back later. And then you can literally lay the tape in the ground, cover it up, and for the most part, the work is done for you. <laughs> so we are gonna be doing both tape and seeds this year because we wanna give this a try, especially since we're doing our farmer's market and CSA, we definitely wanna make sure we have a, enough carrots to go around. So. I feel like this is a very small investment. Obviously it's more expensive than just a packet of seeds, but you waste so many seeds when you're just planting them that way that you have to thin um, down the road or that don't germinate well. So I really feel like for the very small investment of $5 for, what is this, 280 seeds, so potentially 280 carrots, it's absolutely worth it. So we're gonna give it a try. Uh, the other thing that I'm doing that I've done in years past that has been really successful is companion planting the carrots and the radishes together. So basically what you do is you lay the carrot seed down, you cover it, then lay the radish seed down on top of that and cover it. And what that does is the radishes help mark the row for the carrots since they're so quick to germinate and grow. When you pop them out, the carrots have a loose soil to grow up in as well. And last year that worked really well. So we're going to do it again this year. Um, so we're going to be laying this down. We're going to see how it goes. Um, we're going to lay the tape down and then make the furrow next to it so we can have nice straight lines. I'm assuming we're going to get at least four rows across here, depending on how long this tape is. So here we go. So we have the carrot tape down and that was so easy, so easy and so fast. So I highly recommend it. And so we were able to get about four rows down and I'm gonna say about 10 feet, 10 to 12 feet each per, per row. So that to me is great. And I still have three tapes left. So I'm gonna be laying those down here behind uh, where my daughter is so that all the carrots are kind of growing together. together. So what we're doing right now is we laid the tape down, we covered it up, patted down the soil, and now we're laying down the radish seed right on top of the carrot tape. So carrot tape, a very thin layer of dirt, and then the radish seeds. And then we will cover the radish seeds barely with soil and add some water. And that'll be that. And then what I'll do is I will bring my lettuce starts out and I will plant them between the radish and carrot rows. So in between where you've got carrots and radishes growing is where the lettuce starts will go because those three vegetables grow really well together. They enhance each other's flavor. They make each other sweeter. It's just a really great way to companion plant and make the most of your space. It's exciting to see all of this coming together and we're gonna keep working and then hopefully get some spinach seed in between that garlic just to see how it does. All right.
So before we close out this video, I at least want to tell you what kinds of seeds we're planting, especially if you end up being a CSA customer, farm share customer, or uh, coming to our farmer's market, you might be curious to know what type of things you'll be getting in your box. So for radishes, I don't know. I have a radish, a radish fetish, and I love radish seeds, all different colors and shapes and sizes. So I love doing um, a variety of radishes. So right now, today we planted a daikon radish, which I'm super excited about because I've never grown a daikon radish. Um, and they do take longer than your typical radish, but that'll actually work out perfectly so that these are coming up at different times. So I've got a daikon radish. I've got a bartender red radish, which is really pretty. Uh, can you hold those for me? Hold those, there we go. So here's my daikon radish. And a lot of these are from MI Gardener. I um, actually was able to get in on their dollar seed packet sale last year and collected a bunch of things that I needed and wanted. So daikon radish. Then I have this really pretty bartender red radish. Right here, <clears throat> bartender red radish. So they're elongated, which um, I'm really excited about. So we'll have elongated ones and round ones. And then we have my favorite Easter egg radish. I always plant the Easter egg radish. This is botanical interests. Um, and then last but not least, one of the best tasting, in my opinion, is the French breakfast radish. And these are generally like two to three inches long. And the sooner you harvest them, the sweeter they taste. So there's a little tip for you. Um, so those are the four radishes we've planted here. And then when we do our second succession of carrots and radishes, we'll actually be doing different radishes. <laughs> so I'll tell you about those next time. And then today for the carrots, we planted, like I said, the carrot tape, and this is a kaleidoscope blend by Burpee. Uh, so that'll be really fun to have all the different color of carrots. And the other variety of carrots that we'll be doing um, are uh, tender sweet and scarlet nantes, which is a very classic <laughs> carrot. And so we'll be doing those uh, here in the next few weeks as we succession plant uh, these items so that we have them throughout the season. So this is our first succession and in two weeks we'll start another one. So we appreciate uh, the variety and just the continual harvest that we have when we do things this way and we're excited to see how the seed tape does and to be sure and let you know. So thanks for watching today. Uh, we will obviously keep you updated as we continue to fill out this garden and start bringing out our uh, our seedlings. We actually have some of our cool season plants hardening off today and hope to bring those out this weekend and start putting them into our biodegradable tarps here. So as always, my name is Landon Gilfillan with Pepper and Pine Garden Design, now affiliated with our farm, Little Pine Farm. You can check us out on Facebook and on the web at Little Pine Farm. Um, go like us and uh, we appreciate yeah, you guys coming along on the journey. So as always, Lane and Gilfillan here, growing gardeners and their gardens, and we'll see you in the next video.